Hey, what's up? My name is Raul, um, and I thought I'd make like a little bit of a longer video to help some of you out there who are struggling to lose weight. I know what it's like to try and lose weight and, and the struggle that goes along with it. Um, I've been a coach for over 12 years and I help people. Maybe you're one of my clients that's watching this. Maybe you're somebody who's just stumbled across this. Maybe you're part of my mailing list. Maybe you uh, go to the gym that I coach at. I'm not sure where, how you're finding this, but uh, if you are, um, thank you for watching it. And I hope that you can learn something from this longer uh, type of video. So if you're struggling to lose weight, it's going to come down to potentially four to five different things that I've seen from people that I work with. Right. So the first one we're going to talk about is just your caloric intake and your caloric expenditure. So to lose weight, basically, we need to do two things. We need to create a caloric deficit, which means that you need to be eating less calories um, than your body needs so that your body um, starts to burn some of its own fat stores uh, for energy. Um, or you're going to have to basically increase the amount of expenditure of movement that you do with your body, right? So the way that I like to break this down for clients is a really easy way to lose weight is to track how many calories you're eating. A good way to do that is through things like my fitness pal, uh, through a food diary, uh, through just actual mindfulness of the food that you're consuming. A second thing that you can try and track is going to be things like your steps. So it's really important to track your steps. The reason why I think steps are a good thing to track is because they're just a basic good way to know whether you're moving a lot or you're moving a little. Um, beyond that, something that I do think is really helpful for weight loss is uh, to actually find a training program that you like doing. And this is the part where, uh, as a coach, I'm really passionate because, like myself, I've done so many different types of sports. So, um, like from, from CrossFit, Strongman, Powerlifting, Triathlon type training, Running, um, uh, you know, jiu-jitsu, mixed martial arts, kickboxing, boxing, Muay Thai, uh, you know, dancing, gymnastics, uh, Olympic weightlifting, you name it, right? Like I've, I've done them all um, and I, like I get over things, right? Like I don't, I haven't enjoyed doing the same thing for the entire time that I've been training, which has now been 14 years. So uh, what I would like to say is you need to find the thing that you like doing, right? Because if you find the thing you like doing, the chances are, you're going to want to do it more often, right? It doesn't really matter what that thing is. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't go as far to say that there's like a better thing than, than something else, right? Because sometimes something that helps you burn too many calories, it's also going to make you really hungry, right? Like if you could do two hours of CrossFit sessions every day, which would be really intense, you'd be really hungry. And the chances are it might be harder for you to lose weight that way. So sometimes like just easy activity that's easy for you to do, that isn't too challenging or isn't too much different than what you're doing now, might be the best way to go. The reason why I think it's important to find something that you like doing is because if you like doing it, chances are you're going to want to do it more often. So think about that when you're when you're taking that into consideration. The fourth thing that I think is really important when you're when you're thinking about weight loss uh, and why people struggle with it is because you need tangible goals that you can actually measure yourself with to see how you're going along the progress. So for example, um, I recently had the goal that I had to get under 84 kilos uh, to compete in a jiu-jitsu, in a specific jiu-jitsu division, right? Like middleweight division. So my goal was pretty simple. It was like jump on the scales every day and make sure that they're not going up and that they're going down uh, in a period of time, right? Like I, I, I had, uh, I mean, I've been trying to lose it over like a relatively long period of time now, like three months, right? Um, I wanted to get down like 10, 10-ish kilos in those three months. So you know, it was basically one kilo every 10 days that I kind of had to like lose, right? Um, and I hit that, hit the mark, good, easy, um, wasn't unrealistic. But most time when I talk to people, when I say you're going to lose like a kilo every 10 days or a kilo every two weeks, they go like, oh, that's too slow. The truth is right now, if you lost those, if, if you lost the weight you wanted to lose, so much would change about your life. Even if it takes you a little bit longer than you think it's going to, the chances are when you finally hit that goal, it's, it's going to be so good. But it's really important to have that tangible way that you can measure yourself. So whether it, whether it's for you, it's the scales. For some people, it's going to be clothes. Like maybe you have a clothes, clothes that you want to fit into. Like use that every week to like fit into it and see how you're fitting in. Are you fitting into the jeans? Are you fitting into your dress? How close are you? Maybe it's measurements, like measure yourself, right? Something that I like to do with my clients is get them to do measurements around their chest, their hips, their stomach, their thighs, because there's something simple that you can re-measure yourself with, right? Um, and then uh, another thing, maybe it could just be like performance-based, right? Like if right now you're relatively overweight, you could do something like 
doing a 5K, a 3K walk or a 5K run and just test yourself in a month from now. See how quickly you can do it. If you can do that faster than you could before, chances are you're in the right track to lose the weight that you're looking to lose. Um, now, the fifth step that I think is really important for weight loss is making sure that you are actually um, setting up your life to help you succeed. And it all starts from nighttime down to the morning. So you need to go to bed early enough that you can wake up early enough to be ready for the day, be prepared, make sure your meals are ready, make sure that you get it, you know when you're getting your training in, make sure that you're organized, make sure that you have planned ahead for anything that could go wrong, and then the day follows on. But a lot of people struggle to go to bed early enough and they don't go to bed very early, they go to bed quite late, they wake up rushed, maybe they skip breakfast and their day started on the wrong, they, maybe they haven't meal prepped and they're just setting themselves up for failure. So what I think is really important is to make sure that you are setting yourself up from nighttime for the next day. And the more you can plan this ahead of time, the better you're gonna do. If you can meal prep on a Sunday and have all your meals ready for the rest of the week, that'd be awesome. Um, if you can pre-plan in your diary, like when you're gonna train ahead of time, that'd be awesome. If you could preset on your MyFitnessPal ahead of time when you should be doing your exercise, that'd be awesome. So from what I've seen, these are really simple reasons why people struggle to lose weight. They don't track their calories, they don't track their steps, they haven't found a training program they like doing, they don't have a consistent way that they can measure their progress, and they're struggling to prepare ahead of time so that they can actually achieve the thing that they want to achieve. Hope you found the video helpful. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow along on wherever you're seeing me. Uh, my name is Raul, also known as RxD Coach on social media. Take care and peace.